the school bus aka the vehicle assigned to transport us to and from hell on earth otherwise known as school as someone who has rode the school bus pretty much since the first grade i have seen and witnessed some of the most disturbing atrocities that can ever be committed by mankind from fights to getting roasted beyond comprehension to bus drivers basically quitting on the spot and walking off the bus to me the school bus is nothing more than a non-stop chaotic circus on wheels i don't know about y'all but i envy and despise people who always had their parents or family members drive them to school simply because they never had to tolerate or lay witness to the constant buffoonery and tomfoolery that was pretty much a daily occurrence on the school bus now ladies and gentlemen today we're going to take a deep dive into this sad excuse of a vehicle number one we got getting on the bus in the morning now one of the worst parts of the school day was having to get up tired as hell and depressed for the boring ass day ahead of you but the only thing that can make this feeling worse is knowing that you also have to catch the school bus now for those of you who had the luxury of never having to take the school bus in the morning i want you to know that you are blessed with one of the best privileges known to man let's say you have to wake up at 7 a.m to give yourself enough time to get ready and leave for school well if you have to ride the bus you have to damn near get up 30 minutes to an hour earlier just so you don't miss the bus i remember in school my bus came around 7 20 meaning that i had to be up by 6 30 just so i had enough time to get ready and catch the school bus i had to wake up so damn early that most times i didn't even get a chance to eat breakfast i then just had to go to school hungry as hell and then to add a cherry on top of starving and being sleep deprived you also had to endure the almost antarctic like weather of the school morning air you haven't felt sorrow until you've had to wait for the school bus at 6 45 on a wednesday morning in the middle of winter when the temperature is at 20 degrees you should be having me contemplating dropping out and continuing my life as a sad troll under the bridge no door the explorer overall catching the bus in the morning was a task that truly tested your determination to not be a high school dropout or a disappointment to your family next you got the different types of annoying people now if you ever rode the bus you would know that there were different types of annoying people who rode the bus i'm talking there's no way these niggas didn't wake up with the sole intention of making the bus ride as horrible as possible first we got the seat hoggers these are the niggas who will hog one entire seat to themselves now granted we all know how uncomfortable it is to share a seat with even one other person but this is a different level of hating when you see all the other seats are filled to the brim and you still refuse to share your seat and then on top of that it don't even be big tall people who do this you know people who would actually need all that space it'd be five two midgets that only take up the corner of the seat like dog you don't even need all that goddamn space i can't tell you how many times I almost got into a fight with someone simply because they wouldn't let me sit with them. Like, trust me, buddy, sitting in these seats is just as uncomfortable for me as it is for you. Next, we got the loud motherfuckers. These be the people that get on the bus practically screaming at the top of their lungs. Their friend will literally be three inches away from them, and they still feel the need to start screeching like an insane person. Used to sound like a bunch of hyenas and dying chihuahuas. You know it's a problem when you're talking so loud that I can still hear you even with my AirPods in. Like, please sh shut the f up i promise you whoever you're talking to can hear you and lastly we got the paper ball throwers now honestly i don't even know why these hooligans always felt the need to throw paper balls all over the bus it was like they somehow found enjoyment in being a nuisance to everyone around them and what was worse was that these niggas for some reason had phase clan sniper level aim i'm talking these niggas would be at the very back of the bus sniping this in the back of the head with precise aim honestly even though it was annoying as hell to deal with these school threats i can't do nothing but respect the aimbot level aim they had next we got the row sessions now we all know that the back of the bus is pretty much where the majority of the unholy activity goes down from people smoking making out i've even heard stories of people straight up fucking in the back of the bus but the back of the bus was also where the row sessions used to go down now for any of you who never participated in the back of the bus row sessions let me tell you from first-hand experience, it was one of the funniest, but also most embarrassing things you can do. You see, it starts off all fun and games. Boy, if you don't get your pinto bean, lima bean face ass on somewhere, who you talking to, you fat chin, donut shaped, beluga well built that boy? You know, the jokes in the beginning are very lighthearted and funny until one person takes it too far and all hell breaks loose. Oh, yeah, that's why your mama got ran over by an ice cream truck. Oh, stupid ass oh for real well at least my mama's still alive you motherless social reject back in the bus row sessions would quickly go from making fun of each other's weird shaped heads to straight up dissing each other's dead relatives overall you need to make sure you had skin of steel if you ever wanted to be in the row session next we got the seats now as if having frostbite being off of only three hours of sleep and feeling like you haven't eaten since last christmas wasn't enough you also had to deal with sitting in the uncomfortable ass seats i'm starting to get vietnam flashbacks from just looking at these brown torture devices i'm not even lying to you when i say 
my back and knees hurt just from thinking of the absolute pain I had to go through on these uncomfortable ass seats. I know Lai would have preferred to sit on a spike covered chair than those sad excuses for seats. But what would make it even worse was when you had to sit with multiple other people. Mind you, the school bus seats were not built to hold more than one person per seat comfortably. Hell, if even just two people were in one seat, it would feel cramped as hell. You'd both be elbow to elbow, knee to knee, butt to butt, and Lord forbid it was an extra crowded day. And you had three n****s sitting in one seat. You would dead feel like a pack of human sardines. And let's just hope none of the other two people you had to sit with were musty or simply had a bad odor on them because there was no way you weren't gonna smell it. Overall, the seats on the school bus were just all around nothing more than the sadistic joke played on us by the school system. Next, we got the bus drivers. Now, conducting this vehicle to hell was a person called the bus driver. Usually, each bus had one of these three types of bus drivers. First is the bad bus driver. This was the bus driver that made you feel like you were gonna die anytime you stepped in that godforsaken bus. I don't know if these types of bus drivers used to be drunk, high, or snorting some kind of narcotics. But for some reason, they always had a tendency to go way past the speed limit, swerve around corners, and almost lose control of the bus. Or even sometimes forget where they were going and end up going the wrong way. I once had a bus driver get into a literal accident while taking us home from school. This dumbass ended up hitting the taillight of a Honda Civic and almost got his ass beat by the driver i'm not gonna lie to you though this was one of the funniest shits i've ever seen just imagine your bus driver and some random dude squaring up hilarious next is the mean bus driver this is the bus driver that treats the bus like one of those prison buses they give you assigned seats get mad if the students talk too much and would even sometimes start yelling at the students these easily had to be the worst and most annoying types of bus drivers and what would make it worse was that these were the bus drivers i ended up with every year an old dusty musty stank breath it was just mad at the world like bro it's not my fault you're stuck at a shitty job lastly is the cool bus driver this was the one bus driver that would low-key make riding the bus someone fun they would be chill as hell basically let us do what we want and would even randomly give out candy sometimes these types of bus drivers you could literally joke around with and have a decent conversation with even though these bus drivers were rare as hell it was always a good time when you had one next we got the fights now if you ever rode the school bus for a decent amount of time you know that at least a couple of times a year fights were bound to break out now school bus fights were a little different from normal school fights for one you're on a bus and not in the school meaning it's more crowded and you have less room to get off your ufc style haymakers now as far as i know school bus fights would start from almost the most pettiest of shit like one guy stepped on another guy's shoe and decided to deck him in the face and i always felt bad for the guy sitting in the seat right next to the guys who were fighting simply because it seemed like they would always end up pretty much getting smushed from the two guys basically fighting on top of them but the best part was when the bus driver would sprint to the back of the bus just to break up the fight and as you could imagine a 50 year old man trying to break up a fight between a bunch of teenagers would never end well and it would usually end with the bus driver somehow getting his ass beat as well like how you come in to try to break up the fight and end up getting beat up more than the guys who are actually in the fight school fights whether at school or on the bus were always a good time but anyway i'm gonna end today's video off right there if you guys did enjoy this video please do not forget to leave a like if you guys want more of these school series videos because i have a lot more in store let me know in the comments also leave some random topics y'all would like me to talk about if you don't know i do have a twitter called the king of failing link in the description if you want to go follow that but uh, yeah that's about it see you